Which celebrity has blocked you on social media and why? Dane Cook. Anytime something bad happened to me I compared it to him. I got fired today. This is really the Dane Cook of days. Stuff like that. Wait that is so fucking funny. Not a celebrity but Ford blocked me on Twitter cuz I kept asking them to bring the crown Victoria back. Not a celebrity but Harbor Freight. When I commented that their pipe inspection cameras are good for home colonoscopies. Harbor Freight certainly carries the Dane Cook version of almost every tool you'd ever need. I told Janoris Jenkins that he was burnt toast and couldn't cover me he still can't cover but he knows how to block apparently. What's so bad about being called burnt toast? Westboro Baptist Church. I made a script to send them gay porn every 666 seconds. Kendra Sunderland blocked me on Twitter. She posted that she wished they're human-sized cats. I said there are, they're called tigers and they fucking murder people. She did not appreciate that apparently. Well she wasn't in the library for book learning. Chance the rapper blocked me after his latest album came out because I commented, this shit is dookie. About 600 likes on the comment in an hour. Then I was blocked. Still blocked sad face. Why did he block you that was free positive engagement which is great for social media's LMFAO. Jeffree Star once blocked me on MySpace because I kept leaving comments on his page saying things like, hey man, great party last night, to get random fans of his to send me friend requests. After maybe the third time, he responded angrily telling me to stop and block me from leaving comments. He blocked me on Face the Jury, it was a website where you'd upload a picture and get rated, I was like 15 or 16. He messaged me saying I was cute and was flirting with me and I thanked him for the compliment but said I didn't swing that way. Asterisk asterisk edit. Asterisk 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 we're about the same age, this was literally decades ago. Asterisk asterisk. I made a comment on a post on, Weird Al, Yankovic's Facebook page, a clip from, White and Nerdy, of him and Donny Osmond, and Osmond liked the comment and, I assume accidentally, friend requested me. Ironically, I auditioned for his syndicated game show, Pyramid, in 2005 at the Mall of America, and I immediately took the opportunity to remind him of how he got really pissed off at me for asking for an orange Julius when I got on stage. He never answered, and unfriended, blocked me instead. Why did he get pissed about the orange Julius comment? My brother was blocked by Josh Peck on Twitter. Josh posted a weird Chipotle ad he did and my brother commented, WTF are you doing? Hashtag blocked. The YouTuber Onijin blocked me after he invited a bunch of people into his Discord for a debate, on the allegations against him, when I said, you're a grown adult, you should have known what you were doing was wrong, I mean it's not normal to move state just to marry your 16 year old partner a few days after they turned 16. He's the Dane Cook of pedophiles. Dane Cook blocked me on Twitter. He tweeted something along the lines of, sometimes no matter what you do, you can't win. And I replied, did you make another movie? Insta blocked. What a Dane Cook thing to do. I remember someone saying they got blocked by Hulk Hogan for telling him he doesn't need to sign his tweets off with HH. William Shatner. I tweeted him, what's going on, Slick Willy? Apparently, he does not like being called Slick Willy LMAO. Wow William Shatner apparently out here just blocking people. That's two people in one post. I wonder how many others are blocked by old Slick. This Finnish writer who stole memes and posted them on Instagram as his own. I said something about it and he banned me from his page. Yuha Voronin is his name. This is the Dane Cook of Finnish writers. Tila Tequila. She made a video shaming women for wearing makeup and I reminded her that she did anal porn. I snorted and cackled reading this. Thank you. Kevin Hart. I said, type pineapple 1727 times. Why? And why pineapple? William Shatner. I brought up tech war. When my dad worked as TSA, he got to have the privilege and honor of screening William Shatner. Shatner did not want to be screened, and tried to skip it, complaining and such about the whole procedure, and when a TSA officer informed him that no matter who you are, TSA screens everybody, he scoffed and said, that's absurd. Jeffrey Star because I called him out on what a massive piece of shit he is. I bet he's blocked thousands of people. He blocked my friend because she called him an alien skeptical smiley face. Rihanna complimented me, saying that I had sexy lips in a pic I had posted on Twitter. Baby mama wasn't too happy about that, and it ed Rihanna the rest of the day, even saying she'd have some dudes, Chris Brown her. Blocked us both by the next morning. The baby mama ended up in prison for stabbing me a couple years later and I've been a single father ever since. Update. For every who has asked, it happened in 2012. No, I don't know Rihanna. She blocked me. Duh. My child is now a teenager and we haven't seen biological mother since, because she's not legally allowed to be around us. And yes, we are doing very well now.
And yes, I have some rad scars, and yes, they have phantom pains. The biological mom developed postpartum depression, on top of other things, and just kind of snapped. And she attacked me, our kid, and even herself. Son had PTSD for a few years but he's great now. We've all moved on. Thanks for the questions. Damn bro sorry, but damn bro RHIRHI was digging you. I used to be blocked by NATO on Instagram years ago. Well you got better treatment than my mother. She got bombed in Belgrade, survived, XD. I was blocked by Donald Trump on Twitter because I called him an orange fake tanned bastard that doesn't know how to run a country. This led on to me screenshotting the activity and jokingly reporting it to Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister replied that he isn't supportive of my behavior, then he blocked me. Two blocks from world leaders in the space of three days. Kirsty Alley. I'm social media connected to some vocal ex-cult members. Very strange to be blocked by someone you've never tweeted at. Found out when I tried to. Did you ask her where they're hiding Shelley Miscavige? Wasn't blocked but Duncan Jones, son of David Bowie called me an insufferable bore. Lovely guy after all. Julius Randall blocked me on my old Twitter BCI called him a fat Beyblade. My friend was blocked by Vucic, the president of Serbia because she asked how much money they washed on the reconstruction of Republic Square. It's such a cool thing when president just ban you on social media rather than exile you in Siberia, I like this approach. Sean King because I criticized him. What's strange is he blocked me several weeks after my tweet. Talcum X. A UK political apparatchik after I reminded people of his multiple speeches in favor of eugenics. Jim Cornette blocked me on Twitter after he bragged about slapping Santino Morella around. I replied, you know damn well that if he wasn't looking for a job in green card at the time he would have crippled you. Blocked within the hour of posting. Trump. I sent him a Barack Obama virtual birthday card. Not a celebrity, but I got blocked by PETA for asking why they euthanize healthy animals. Hi, I'm asking seriously here, why do they euthanize healthy animals? I got online bullied by Suzanne Summers and then her fans brigaded me. It was so bad I ended up deleting my Twitter account. Edit. She was mad BCI tweeted that going to college is so expensive that many smart capable students are simply shut out. I wasn't even talking to her. I have no idea how she saw that tweet. I had like 40 followers and I'm pretty sure 30 of them were bots. She accused me of being classist because she didn't go to college and is plenty successful so how dare I suggest smart people should have the chance to go to college. Like, somehow she found a random person's comment about tuition, made it all about herself and harassed me. I responded a few times, which was a mistake. She wouldn't drop it, and then her boomer fanbase turned on me. It was bizarre. I just hit mute conversation when this stuff happens and move on. Also Summers made it because she was a hot blonde. Not everyone can make a living wearing short shorts. Joel Osteen. I posted in his Facebook that he was the best stand-up comedian of our generation. The Dane Cook of Televangelists. Not me, but my friend got semi-TikTok famous over an open-ended question on how she found out Santa wasn't real. That got popular and gained the attention of the guy verified as Santa on TikTok. He sent her a nicely worded message about how she shouldn't make a video about how Santa isn't real cause there are kids on the app. Then he blocked her. No one young enough to believe in Santa should be on TikTok. Jax Taylor from Vanderpump Rules because I said he looked like coked up Radigan from Great Mouse Detective. Gordon Ramsay. I was 13 and in a dumb group chat with my friends on Twitter, someone in it was followed by him so they added him to it. He ended up blocking half of us, rightfully tbh. Also I messaged him asking if I could be on Masterchef because I could make good ramen noodles and I think that also caused it. I said something to Aaron Carter and he blocked me. Oh wait, you said celebrity sorry. Same. He's such a tool. He'd happily step on anyone for money. Brian Singer. This was when the accusations came out I commented on an Instagram post. Where are all the comments attacking him for being a scumbag? Someone said he was deleting them all. He then blocked me and made his account private. Recently Amber Heard. Have never interacted with her but I was engaging with Depp's lawyer. What a twat she is. Also John Cusick. Dude went on a blocking spree. I felt it was unwarranted. Anyone who is an enemy of Amber Heard is good in my book. Kelly Ripa. The best part is I worked for her studio at ABC for years and was never caught trolling her. She is actually a pretty decent human being but has made life annoying at times. Ryan Seacrest by the way is a fucking saint to the people who work for him. Such a nice dude, Kelly is a bit of a diva but what do you expect? That's honestly so cool to hear about Seacrest. Makes his success seem that much more genuine. 
Devin Sawa, I called him a dick for making fun of poor people and he made my tweet his cover photo for a little while and then blocked me ha 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 ha. Seriously though I thought he has died years ago. That he's alive and active enough on Twitter to block people means that he's likely on other social media platforms, and that means somebody out there in the world has been ghosted by 90s Casper. I just got blocked by the OK Boomer girl today cuz she was taking about not working for free under someone's cooking tweet and I sent her a screenshot of her saying that she doesn't believe in tipping servers cuz it's not an actual job and she shouldn't give entitled people handouts just to bring her a glass of water and food. Chance the rapper was on a blocking spree after ing shitting on his album, The Big Day. I happen to be one of those people. Triple H on Instagram. I don't even follow wrestling. I got drunk one night and tried to start a rumor Triple H only has three fingers on his right hand. I did some poorly photoshopped stuff and posted it on wrestling forums. Then I followed up for a few weeks on forums and then every time I would drink I would get on his Instagram and start typing things like, prove to the fans you have all your fingers, or, why have you betrayed us all for so long with these secrets, or, fuck you Triple H. Really I have no idea why I focus on him. Anyway after about two months of this it got the point where I was blocked. That's my story. Mercedes got mad at me when I asked if they could get me a new transmission for my Tiger tank or build me a V2 rocket. Kanye West. I used to spam him the same message 30 to 50 times every single day saying, why are you pissing on the Grammy when you can take a fat, smelly shit on it instead? Greater than. Still don't know why I'm blocked. Less than. Should have called him a gay fish while you were at it lol. James Charles for putting up a picture of dog grooming products and capturing it, the new James Charles collection, not so famous, Mayhem Miller. I called her out for being transphobic. Ironically, she's a drag queen who makes a living cross-dressing. As an MMA fan this really confused me at first. Not at all a celebrity, but he thinks he is, the Keanu Reeves breathtaking guy blocked me after I said, John Elway called me a little shit in 98 but you don't see me relying on that for my personality. Ew. That guy sounds awful if he's trying to capitalize on an off-handed comment as a claim to fame. Not blocked, quite the opposite. A, I would call it B-list, celebrity in my country like a post from my wife on Instagram. My wife posted a picture showing a location from a movie the celeb started in and hashtag the movie. She ended up liking it and started following my wife. It's quite interesting, she randomly likes and comments on some of my wife's posts. They are not friends, but know each other and talk to each other online sometimes. Fascinating, how celebs are just random people like you and me. Except their job isn't to go to the office, but stand in front of a camera. Jimmy from the Dave and Jimmy radio show in Columbus, Ohio. He posted a picture of his sister and said, she got all the good looks in the family. And I said, looks like there wasn't much to go around in he first place then. I reached out to him and apologized personally, and was unblocked. Oof, I could see that being a friendly jab, or just super brutal on context. Good on you for apologizing personally. Can't wait to see BuzzFeed turn this into an article. BuzzFeed. The Dane Cook of websites. Delhi Ali because I said I didn't like his new haircut edit. This happened today in case you're wondering. Caitlyn Jenner for reminding her of the millions she spent on anti-LGBT politicians. I'm a little surprised I wasn't blocked by Mark Ruffalo after I posted a bad Photoshop picture of Mark Buffalo. I think he's cool enough to not do that lol. I told Joel Osteen he was a fake-ass Christian for only opening his church to flood victims after he was pressured. Rapper Talib Kweli blocked me because I commented on his Instagram post that he was a great lyrical rapper because reasons XYZ, defending him against someone saying his rap skill was weak. He berated me for, acting like you know anything about our culture as a white guy, to be speaking on it. I was showing love and he shit on me. I still like his music but what a dick. Some black rappers are super sensitive as to who's listening to their music. I get it, but, damn, y'all trying to pretend that Beastie Boys don't exist or what? IDK if it counts but PETA blocked me after I actually genuinely tried to get to know their opinions and views and ask them questions such as, how we're going to help the people who work in the animal industry if we abolish it? How they are going to supplement people who have illness that make it hard for them to live without meat dairy products? How we're going to train all the animals that have been domesticated for centuries to suddenly live in the wild, or all the animals born in captivity with no prior survival skills training. A few people bashed me for supporting genocide and all, but in the end I just got blocked, no answers whatsoever. Those are genuine concerns that do need to be raised, I didn't even think about that side of it. PETA and its follows has always been a bit extreme though so that block doesn't surprise me. William Shatner blocked me after an argument about autism. He's crazy. 
I called him an asshole to the people that made him and he blocked me and several days later I was still getting hate messages from his fans. There was this guy who was pretty popular on Tumblr for a bit, he shared his Snapchat and all that. Well, when I was young and dumb as fuck, I thought it would be just really quirky to, accidentally, send a Snapchat to him. It wasn't anything NSFW or anything like that, probably me just saying something about something he talked about on the site or something, but I remember immediately following it with, OMG I'm so sorry for sending that, that was supposed to go to my friend. I kind of forgot about doing that for a while until he got a lot more popular, famous. I remembered he was on Snapchat, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I realized then that he probably got the message then proceeded to block me. Honestly I'm mega embarrassed by it and feel pretty bad. I'm sure I came across like a major creep or made him uncomfortable. Like I said I was young and dumb. I still follow him on other social media but definitely never messaged him anywhere else. I kinda hope he doesn't remember that. Sucks that the only impression of me someone got was me being a weirdo. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.